Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this rectangle A, B, C, D. And a triangle is drawn from uh, with this uh, uh, with this segment A, B, the side A, B, and this uh, point F. So we have this triangle A, B, F, and this triangle E, D, E, C. So via point E on uh, segment A, B, a triangle to a triangle is drawn and these two triangles overlap at this uh, white region and it divides this uh, and I mean the area aside from the overlap are as shown 32 square units for the green this uh, 3 square units for the orange and this uh, uh, yellow 8 square units and this uh, uh, blue 27 square units and we are required to find the area of this uh, white quadrilateral at the middle portion of this uh, rectangle. Okay, so first thing that we can do is we can draw a line from E to F. So a straight line connecting these two points. So, okay. Okay, so next is uh, I have shaded these two triangles. This, let's... Uh, this triangle ADF and this triangle EDF, uh, these two triangles have uh, the same base, which is a uh, DF. So DF, and they share the same base, and uh, they have this common uh, height, which is AD. For ADF, uh, we can call this uh, H. And for this uh, EDF, uh, the, the height is also H. Okay. Okay, so since this, uh, there are two, the two triangles overlap at a common, uh, common uh, uh, portion, the yellow triangle below. So these two white triangles are equal. So we can label them, I mean label them with the same, uh, uh, Variable. So let's label this as uh, the white portion, these two white portions as x, and this one as x also. Uh, so next is we focus on this uh, triangle uh, EBF and EBC. So as you can also see, they have this uh, overlap, this three square unit. Uh, I mean, three square unit orange triangle. These two triangles have the same area again because they have the same base EB. Okay, and the same height, which is this H. This perpendicular to FC and this uh, side BC for the EBC. So they have essentially the same area and therefore we can call this as Y and Y. Okay, so next is uh, I want to label this uh, segment AE as uh, small letter A and this uh, segment DF as small letter B and this uh, segment EB as small letter C and this uh, FC as small letter D. Okay, so next is we compare these two triangles, this yellow and the green triangle. So they have uh, three sets of angles. And these two angles here are actually congruent because they are vertical angles. And this one is congruent with this one because they are alternate uh, interior angles. And this angle here is congruent with this angle. Therefore, making these two triangles similar via triple A angle similarity. Okay, so comparing these two triangles, the green and the yellow. So for the green, we have an area of 32. And the other is uh, 8. And we can actually uh, get a ratio of their lengths. So area scale ratio. So for the 32, we have A. And for the 8, we have B. And we have to square this uh, ratio. So 
32 divided by 8 is 4 is equal to a over b squared. So we take square root of both sides. So we have a four, 2. Okay, 2 is equal to a over b. Or we can simply say that a is equal to 2b by cross multiplying. Okay, so next is we compare the uh, area of the blue and the orange triangle. So we have uh, for the blue, we have 27 over this uh, 3. Okay, is equal to the area and the length for this corresponding for this uh, 27 is D. And for this uh, uh, 3, the orange is uh, C. So we square that ratio for the length. So that is the area scalar ratio again. So 27 over 3 is 9. Is equal to D over C squared. So we take again the square root of both sides. Uh, same procedure as we did earlier. So 3 is equal to D over C. So D is equal to 3C. Okay, so next is we make use of this, uh, that the relationship we got earlier with A and B. So A is equal to 2B. So it, write this as 2B. And D is equal to 3C. So we can write here this as equal to 3C. Okay, so next is we compare this right triangle uh, AED. So let's write AED. And this right triangle ADF. And ADF. Okay, so this is a right triangle. This is a, from a rectangle. Okay. So for uh, ADE, A -E or AED, we have here uh, to compare the areas in terms of uh, the height and the base. So let's call this uh, the uh, the width of this uh, rectangle to be a uh, any value. Uh, let's say n. So n, if that is n, that is the base, the common base of the two right triangles. So uh, we compare the areas. So for the larger triangle, we have uh, 32 plus x is equal to 1 half times the base, which is uh, n, and the height is uh, 2b. And for the other one, so we have uh, 8 plus x is equal to one half times uh, the base which is n times uh, b and we can actually divide these two equations so we simply cancel this one half and n and this b and we are left with the 32 plus x is equal to we cross multiply so 2 times x or 8 plus x so 32 plus x is equal to 16 plus 2x okay so we simply put this uh, x here to the right hand side so we have uh, 2x and this 16 to this uh, to the left so 32 minus 16 is equal to 2x minus x so we are going to the x is equal to uh, 16. And that is uh, an area. So the area, the unit should be square units. Okay, so next is we need to get the value of y. And we need to compare the triangles uh, E, B, C. So E, B, C. And this triangle with FCB. Okay. So notice that for uh, EBC, the area is uh, the sum of these uh, two regions, this orange and this white Y. So 3 plus Y 
and uh, is equal to one half times the base which is n so n and the height is uh, c so c and for the other triangle so b or f c b so that is uh, 27 plus y Uh, equal to one half times a uh, n times a uh, the basis n and the height is this three c so three c so we simply divide two these two equations so we simply cancel this one half and one half and then and and this c and this c and we just simply cross multiply so we have three plus y times uh, with this 3 is left to cross multiply with this so 3 is equal to 27 plus y so we have uh, 9 plus 3y is equal to 27 plus y so we can put this y to the left hand side so we have uh, 3y minus y is equal to 27 minus this uh, 27 minus 9 we put this 9 to the right hand side so we have uh, 18 so 2y is equal to 18 and divide both sides by 2 so we have uh, y is equal to 18 i mean 9 i mean 18 over 2 so that is 9 uh, square units Okay, so and now for the final step, so the as we can see, the white quadrilateral is uh, composed of the two areas that's in white. So let's label this area of the white quadrilateral as W field, area W field is equal to x plus y. So we have area of W field is equal to, so since we have the value of x earlier and y, and we can substitute x with 16 and y as 9. So area of w2 simply equal to 25 square unit. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.